Hello boaters, a bit of a scary thing happened this morning uh, involving the cats. Um, don't worry, I'm going to tell you the story about it, but they're okay, nothing, nothing harmed them. Um, but because I was involved in the incident as well, my memory of it is, to be honest, it's a bit of a blur. So, I'm trying to start at the beginning. Um, I've moored up in a really beautiful spot, lovely quiet rural towpath, about a quarter of a mile from a very small village. Quiet and peaceful, lovely. Um, and then at about half past eight this morning, the back doors of my boat were open, the cats were out, um, fine, normal and quiet. And then suddenly, Midge comes running in, snarling and growling. And I thought, mm, hello, probably a dog out there. So I go outside to have a look, and Bushka, he's out on the back deck at this point, he's snarling and growling as well. And there's a woman coming and she's got two large sort of Labrador type dogs. Um, and none of them are on leads. Um, and they were they were not on the boat, but they were sort of standing on the towpath beside the boat, facing off the cats. They weren't being aggressive, um, just inquisitive, I suppose. Um, my boat obviously smells very cat-like, so they're, they're drawn to it. Um, Bushka, he was sort of hiding behind my bike wheel. Uh, his hackles were up, he was snarling and growling, and uh, I thought, oh, this is not going too well. So as the woman came past, I said, I said to her, do you realise I've got two cats here? And she said, oh yes, that's all right. She's not concerned at all like that. But Bushka's snarling was getting louder and louder, and I, I was beginning to worry. You know, I thought, there's going to be a fight here if we're not careful. Um, but still, she, she, well, she tried calling the dogs, but they didn't move. They just carried on watching. Uh, and then Midge comes out onto the back deck. And his hackles are up and he's snarling and growling as well. And still the dogs don't move. And then... <sighs> this is where it gets a bit blurry because sort of everything happens so quickly. She called the dogs and one of them went back to her and she started to walk away. The other dog walked away briefly from the side of my boat as if it was going to follow them. But then it sort of changed its mind and ran back to my boat and jumped onto the back deck. Not with any aggression in mind, but it did it all the same. And then that set everything off. Both cats, this was weird. It was kind of disturbing and yet funny at the same time because both cats switched into fight mode. <laughs> and uh, Bushka at this time, he was... I was standing on, I was in the back, looking out of the, the back doors, and Bushka was on the, uh, the hatch above me, and he switched into fight mode, and that means he just fights anything. So he started clawing at my head. <laughs> Midge on the deck, he goes for one of the dogs. There is a lot of noise. Um, then Bushka jumps off of the hatch practically lands on top of Midge, so they have a quick fight together as well. It was quite insane. It really was Midge. They broke away, then they both went for the dogs. The dogs were on the towpath at this time, so the cats leapt off the boat, started going for the dogs. The dogs were running around, not really knowing or caring what was happening. I mean, it was all very confused and, and noisy, and <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I leapt out of the boat onto the towpath. Uh, I grabbed... I with some difficulty, I managed to grab the collars of both dogs and drag them away from the boat just to get them around. The woman was just standing by. She was calling to them, but she wasn't doing anything. She couldn't control the things. Eventually, we got them away from the boat. And I said to the woman, you know, please, when you're coming past more boats like this, put them on leads, because lots of boats have cats. And she, well, she muttered something a bit defensive. I can't remember what it was. Um, and walked away, walked away with the dogs, fortunately that. Both cats came back inside with me, and they were clearly very agitated and upset. Um, and Midge had a, one of his eyes was very teary. Um, I think possibly Bushka scratched him when they uh, had a bit of a scuffle together. It was weird that they switched into fight mode and suddenly everything was a target. It was just really odd. <laughs> didn't do any damage to my head um, but then that's made wood anyway so uh, so 
20 minutes later, and I've closed the doors of the boat now and keeping them in, 20 minutes later she walks past the boat again with her dogs, but this time they're on leads, so that was all right. But I thought the best thing to do, despite it being a lovely place, I was going to stay there for another day because it was really nice there, but I thought the best thing to do is to move on um, because there's a good chance that she or someone else would be coming back down there a bit later on that day, so chances are it could happen again. Um, so, okay, so I, I get the boat ready and we move, we go a couple of miles, um, so a good, good way out of the way, go through a couple of locks as well, and uh, moor up again in another lovely rural sort of location, it's very quiet here, I don't think I've seen anybody walk past today. Um, but when I normally let the cats out and video that for my cruising videos, today it was a bit different. And I'll show you that clip now. It's safe here. We had a big fight with some dogs earlier this morning before I moved and the cats are a bit scared to go out by the look of it. Come on Midge, it's all right now. Come on. Oh poor things. People don't keep their dogs on leads on the towpath and they're always getting attacked or chased. Come on Midge, it's all right. Come on. It's all right, come on darling. Come on, Midge. Come on. Come on. This is unusual, isn't it? It's okay. Come on. Come on. It's the right bush, isn't it? Come on, Midge. There you are. That's a good boy. No dogs here at the moment. It's all right, Bushka. This is unusual, isn't it? No dogs around at the moment, you should be okay. You've got to be careful though, boys. Ah. <laughs> See you next time. Anyway, like I said, no harm was actually done. Um, but this thing, that was the worst one that's ever happened. Um, that was quite scary. It, it could have gone. If the dogs had been actually aggressive, it would have been a bloodbath. It would have been terrible. Um, but fortunately, it, it worked out OK. But we, we get lesser events of this nature quite regularly. It's, it's everywhere we stop, there's dogs running around out of control. Um, and also you get a certain number of boaters who have dogs will be boating along the canal, but they let the dog run along the towpath beside the boat. I mean, nine times out of ten, that's probably perfectly okay. But if the dog gets into trouble, or if there's a fight of some sort like that, then the the owner of the, the dog can't really do anything about it. So that, that's not something that should happen, really. Um, but I wish members of the public would keep their dogs on leads when they're on the towpath. Um, I've, I've contacted the CRT to ask what the official line is about this. Um, as yet, there's no answer. Um, I don't know if it's actually law that they should be on leads or not. Who knows? I'll let you know if I find out. Anyway, that was all OK. Luckily, no harm was done. So until next time.